Hello and welcome to the spawning, aka instantiating video. In this video, you'll be learning how to use the create object action. I've got a simple sphere with rigid body physics on it and a ground plane underneath it. What I want to set up is a way to spawn more of these spheres and just make a total mess. So make the plane nice and big. First, I'll create an empty game object. I'll call it sphere spawner. Then I'll add an FSM to it and add a create object action on it. I want to set the sphere as the object to create and I'll drag and drop the sphere spawner into the spawn point. This will make it so our spheres spawn from the position the spawner is at. And when I press play, The sphere is spawned into the scene. This is also called instantiation. You can say, the sphere was instantiated into the scene. An instantiation is a clone, so everything on that original sphere comes with it, like the rigid body component. See if I click on this clone here, it also has it. Now if I make a cube a child of the sphere, and I'll just move it down like that, and then run this again, you'll see that the instantiation now also includes the cube. So as of right now, it only spawns the once. It runs the action at runtime and has nothing left to do. I said we were going to make a mess. To do that, we're gonna need to make a couple of tweaks. So on the sphere spawner, I'm gonna make a new state, throw in a get mouse button down action, send an event we can call spawn and have that transition to the state with the create object action. Set this new state as the start state and on the spawn state, create a finish transition that'll take us back here. Now you could press play and go ham. In this lesson, we learned that an instantiation is a clone, and it carries over with it all the properties from the original, like components and child objects. Then we learned how to use the create object action to spawn, or instantiate, things into our scene. Be sure to check out our other videos to learn all the various features of Playmaker. Links to more learning resources are in the description.